Nasty Show. We're still here with Vinnie Jones and Gemma Collins. Oh, the shop is lighting up, so that means we've got a guest. Who's in the shop? Who's in Tyrone's? Salamin alaikum, my brother. How are you? Salam, my brother. How are you? Very nice to see you, Baba. Yes, always, my friend. Look, I got lighter, bong. I got papers. I got this one, grinders. Yeah. Everything you want, I have in the shop for you, my friend. That's bare haram shit. Bro, you know what? I love, I love your accent. Can, can you do any more accents? You like my accent? I love it, Baba. I can do your accent. Try it, come on. <laughs> Wait for this one. Yeah, go on. Why are you talking about sister's dicks for? Fuck off, man. Because you have one that's... You don't understand what you're saying out here, bro. It's very offensive shit. Make some noise for Goku! How are you, bro? How are you? Yes, man. Come on. I'm glad to see you. Be your boy. Be your boy. Be This is Gus. Gus, it's Gemma. Gemma. How are you, my G? Yeah. Come here, you alright? Yeah. Right? Squeeze yeah. up, everybody. Squeeze up. Yo, I'm sofa. with Southern Royalty right here. Vinny fucking Jones. <laughs> and Gemma Collins. Go on. Yeah. I feel like we're very... You know. Yeah. Big up, guys. Thanks for coming back on the show. My Love. Pleasure. Thank guys, you please give up for comedian, Dub Khan. <laughs> now, Man Like the Bean Series 3 is out. Yeah. Because all of the episodes have all dropped, is it, is it hard for you to talk about on TV? Because you don't want to spoil it for anyone else. No, I'm willing to tell you any shit you want to hear, bro. You want to hear what happens in the end? Tell us the spoilers! <laughs> yeah, listen, next man gets... No, I'm not going to say... <laughs> I'm not going to say what happens. But you know what? We just... We're happy, we're proud, and like this show epitomises nasty and you, Man Like Mobin speaks to a generation who've never seen themselves on TV before, mm -hmm. so I'm just happy that we could deliver that to the people, you know? So, yeah. it means a lot. And it's... Daniel Orton. Now, the oh, last series ended on a cliffhanger. Yeah. So what about this series? What can we expect from Mobin? What do you mean a cliffhanger? Mobin? What do you mean by that? A cliffhanger? What, what, if what? you hang on a cliff... <laughs> Then that explains it all. Physically, I wasn't hanging off a cliff, nasty. That's what I'm it's saying. Like... It's in Birmingham, you idiot. <laughs> Am I the only one who understands what he's saying, innit? <laughs> Cliffhanger is a fucking. What's his name again? Andrew! <laughs> That's a film! Do you know what Cliffhanger is, bruv? Bruv, it's got flipping Sylvester Stallone in Cliffhanger, bruv. <laughs> yeah? That's man like Mo Bean, bruv. It's shot in flipping Birmingham. This is why my show's on at 10 and he's just on at 11. <laughs> <laughs> bruv, the relationship between you two is, like, unique as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> Feels like I'm 12 years old again in the garage, like, yeah, go on, bang him in the face, bruv. Go on, bang him Come in the on. face. <laughs> is, is, your that, phone, is that your phone? Bro? Yeah. Hey fam, man's filming TV, cuz I shot you and I'm done. <laughs> I love my G, don't know. Now, with your show, you take, you take inspiration from like real life stuff, in, t in a sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, you think like Uber drivers are like some of the funniest people you meet? Of course, bro, listen, the funniest people in life yeah. are the people who will never go anywhere near a TV. Your nan, that crazy auntie from the corner shop, yeah? All these people will bring you the natural flavour. And I think that's, that's definitely what we try and capture in the show, you know? Like, it very much relates back to the characters you do as well, bro, on, on Instagram. People can see the realism in them. <laughs> Uh, and that's why they're so funny. Most of them.